and welcome to GBN America with me, Patrick Christie's. Now, it feels as though we could be doing royal news every single hour. What's the latest? Well, there's a lot to go at. So, bad news by the sounds of it for Prince Harry after he admitted to cocaine and marijuana and psychedelic use. US, former US President Donald Trump has come out and said something that I think Prince Harry should take note of. Uh, we're also going to be talking as well about the latest royal health mystery. Here to do that is GB News's very own royal correspondent. It's Cameron Walker. Cameron, thank you very much for joining us here on GBN America. Hi, Patrick. Great to be here. Look, let's start with the latest state side then. I mean, former President Trump appears to have said that Harry will be out on his own. I know there's a court case going on at the moment in relation to his uh, previous drug use. What's going on? Yeah, there certainly is, Patrick. Uh, so the Heritage Foundation, which is a right-wing uh, think tank in, based in Washington, D.C., they are taking the Department for Homeland Security to court uh, over Prince Harry's visa situation. Now, of course, uh, the Department of Homeland Security is uh, Democrat-led at the moment, and uh, the allegation is that President Biden and his staff are keeping Prince Harry safe or giving him special treatment after he has admitted to drug use, illegal drug use, in his memoir spare. Now, lawyers for um, the Department of Homeland Security have come out and said, well, he may have written it in his book, but that's not actually concrete proof that he has taken drugs. That was the first thing they said. They also said the reason that that visa application is not public knowledge is because Prince Harry has the rights to privacy and his visa application um, remains private uh, property of Prince Harry. Now, why do we care about this? The reason being is, if you're applying to, for a visa in the United States, uh, if you have admitted illegal drug use, technically, you are not allowed in the United States unless you've got a very, very specific waiver. And that is why the Heritage Foundation wants that information released, to see either if Prince Harry lied on his application and said that he has not taken any illegal drugs, or he has told the truth, in which case the question is, why has the Department of Homeland Security given Prince Harry a waiver, or have they turned the, uh, the, a blind eye because he is a prince of the realm? So they, they're the allegations. There's no suggestion that Prince Harry has lied on his visa application, but of course it remains secret and we simply don't know. No, and so what could the upshot of this be then? Would it mean that Harry would potentially be deported from America? I mean, what could happen? Well, well former President Trump, who could well be president, come well, be elected in November and then become president next January, has indicated very strongly that Prince Harry would not be safe if he becomes president of the United States again. So the quote from, pres from former President Trump, Trump is, I wouldn't protect him. He portrayed the queen. That's unforgivable. He would be on his own if it was down to me. So that's pretty strong words from President Trump there. Uh, would that be a priority for President Trump? I suspect not. I think a vast majority of Americans would want him to do something about the uh, Mexico-US border first rather than one individual. Uh, but of course, the fact that he's decided to sp speak publicly about this, um, Mr. Trump, suggests to me that he could well uh, make, a, make a point of this, make a point of Prince Harry, which would be, let's be frank, a bit of a disaster for Harry because he could well be kicked out the United States. He, of course, has two very young children and a wife in California. But would the US government, regardless whether it's Trump or Biden in office come next year, really wants to kick Harry out and break up a very young family? I suspect not, to be honest. I think the UK-US relationship, that special relationship, is still pretty strong. And OK, Prince Harry is his opinion polls are not great on either side of the Atlantic, and he's no longer a working member of the royal family, but he is still the king's son. The king still very much loves his son, and I don't think that would do much if Harry is kicked out and forced back to Britain for that relationship. So I suspect it's not going to come down to that, but of course it is a possibility.